Hello top 11 managers around the world welcome back to your channel Mamun Prefer Gaming this is your channel the reason is you are all top 11 managers and Mamun Prefer Gaming always make content only on top 11 and I speak in English so that everybody can understand so uh, today I am just opening the game this is the first time I'm opening so this is the new season and uh, here is a top 11 announcement important announcement managers the away goals rule has been eliminated in the cup Champions League and Super League competition the team with more goals at the end of the home and away legs in a tie will proceed to the next round with extra time and penalties being played if necessary at the end of the second leg if the score is level on aggregate so guys it is very simple there is no our rules from this season and you will not be knocked out because of our rules and you can simply you know you can simply play this game without thinking of our rules now uh, you will have to claim all the available rewards at the first day when you actually open the game because uh, otherwise they will disappear you will not be able to claim those rewards so i'm claiming all available rewards that i'm having you will have to focus on a special sponsor as well you need to take those tasks and you need to think about it and uh, plan for it as well and uh, you can claim a special sponsor rewards later as well if you need so it's not gonna disappear uh, until the end of the season it's gonna stay like draw frenzy so you need to uh, you don't need to be worried about it so today I have opened the game and these rewards very very easily I'm gonna claim uh, basically at the beginning it's very easy in a special sponsor task but handy because one jersey means one token and three rest I am gonna get so uh, I sell all the jerseys and emblem that I claim uh, because these are tokens Collect and save team play drills from the first day when you start new season because this is one of the most important part at the moment in top 11. If you really want to dominate your opponents at the latest stage of the season, you will have to save team play drills because team play drills will allow you to train very quickly and very effectively. I have five available calves right now and I'm gonna claim those five available calves so that I can train all the available uh, team play forms such as attack, defense, position and condition. So I'm going to divide all these uh, together and I'm going to take one a bonus for attack making it five. So as you can see one left and I'm going to give it to the attack because attack is very important. To me attack and defense is the most important part in uh, team play drills. So all you gotta do, you need to train and it's uh, your own, you will train. But uh, the thing is, uh, not now, you will have to collect all the rewards, all the uh, claimable rewards that you have. And then you'll have to build your team, you'll have to decide which player will play till the end of the season as your main players. And you will have to buy your remaining players, you don't have a good player in what position, you'll have to decide and now as you can see you will also have to uh, re-contract uh, with players who are not having contract right now so you'll have to renew those contract and you will have to pick those players i kept uh, one person players just to get advantage in different sort of events you will get advantage of these uh, you know you don't have any more the system in which if you keep one person player you're gonna get weak players in tournaments it's no more but you can what you can do is you can get advantage of weak players i mean your one person players in different sort of events to get similar opponents so if it is possible i mean if you can play one week or uh, four or five days and after finishing the uh, beginning events you can buy those remaining two three players and increase your percentage overall 
so uh, you will have to decide uh, what you are gonna do this is your squad and you will have to reveal the squad basically because you sold some of the players in uh, transfer market last season but uh, if you do not sell uh, players I mean if you did not sell players the, uh, the last season then you will not have to rebuild it because your team is already rebuilt but uh, to me is uh, sometime you should sell some players uh, those are useless those are not performing you will have to sell them and you will have to have good players uh, in place of them this way your performance will be great uh, your players will be in good touch and overall you are gonna get result so i am signing up uh, two players those are brand new player 18 years old and they were built in youth academy they are good quality player and i'm gonna really focus on them in this season so i already have uh, one goalkeeper uh, that i actually kept last season uh, he was good player and i have four midfielder right now they are all good right now two new join just you have seen that two 18 years old and others joined from last season so other two strikers are actually from the last season so all are actually in good shape right now so let's see what happened in this season so now I'm going to claim other uh, rewards as well. These are daily rewards. If you do not claim them, you're not going to get. So uh, this is the current situation right now. I am focusing on transfer market as well. Checking players, but uh, it's difficult to get always good players. But it is wise to buy players, two, three players later after finishing some of the events early stage. So you will have to buy players as well if you don't have enough players. If you have big matches coming up next you will have to buy players as well and you will have to check your old opponents uh, you are gonna play against uh, in all the tournaments so keep checking them as well so that you can plan your team as well because you must know your opponent otherwise you are in trouble as you can see i have no chance against this opponent unless i spend some real money to build some 200 percent players this player is already 166 percent he is the pure money user and now it's difficult for me to have a big players 200 percent players without using real money so that's what actually faced by many people even if i train well if i do well uh, i have really really one percent chance out of hundred percent to win against this opponent so simply what i can do i can uh, you know deliberately lose some of the games and place myself third in the champions league just to avoid this opponent and put myself in uh, the super league and people even left the game but i am always making way out i mean always finding uh, the way out uh, so that i can play this game so do not be disappointed uh, all you can do to avoid this sort of opponent you can uh, deliberately lose one or two season uh, badly uh, just to uh, you know go down to your level a bit uh, and you can avoid this opponent as these opponent will have bigger level and you will not be a uh, bigger level as you deliberately lose that tournament's early stage that's what you need to do at the first stage